Tu moke moke is a moteatea and a journey throughout Tauranga Moana, reciting marae, tupuna and sites of significance. Join us as we learn this local waiata and explore our rohe. Mai ngā kuri a whārei ki te tūma. Kura te wini wini, kura te wana wana, mau wā he kurangi, ngā mau ngā kōhati, tai timu, tai pari ngā wā tere nei, wai au te awa, te mō ana tauranga, o tā whiwhi te whenua e. O tā whiwhi te whenua, mā tā tua te waka, ko toroa te tangata e. Hui e tai ki e. Kaore hoki tauku ka nohi e kaweki no ki te mo e pakari karawa. Te waka te ka waka tu wera, i te tatau ki te kaupapa e tua tunei. A ke mai e noho ki. Ngā pare kawa kawa, ki nō me iā koutou, ko mai ki te awhi te kaupapa, te kui e tua ke nē e muri nei, i u kui ā ia, ki te rāua, i kākahu ti ai, ki te kākahu, si ka hei mau hanga mōna, e tū mai rā, nā te whakāro ko tahi, kā tū, te whakatinana, i ngā whakāro, there was an important marriage that was made in this area a number of years ago. And I want to mention a, a great man, a rangatira, a tūpuna by the name of Pūpeko. And Pūpeko had a whakapapa that leaned him towards being um, strong mātātua, but also he was strong tainui. He was a descendant of uh, Ngāti Maru, of Ngāti Maru. So he was able to come up and down this coastline because he had those whakapapa connections. Anyway, one of his journeys, he came up this way and he got to the entrance at Otawhiwhi, at Kati Kati, the side of the entrance, and it said that his waka overturned. And when it overturned, he was drowned. It said that his body then was um, washed up into the cave uh, at the bottom of that headland party, Kura Maya. And when Te Whanua Kofal found his tupapa, who found his body, they could see that the sea lice had been eaten away in his flesh henceforth the coming of Kati Kati, and that the state of his body, he was naked, but he was um, tangled up in seaweed. That's how Ota Fifi came about.